I can only say, looking at Mr. Vijay Dev, I am encouraged to go back as a student and go in for a PhD after having done a LLM at SOA, CSU in London, which my son is going to do now. So with this introduction, I have discussed a lot, everybody has said a lot about the university. But where is the source? The source is the Chancellor. Mr. Naveen Jindal. I read his profile over and over. I go over it slowly. My first appreciation point is his patriotism. Mr. Naveen Jindal flew the Indian flag in his factory in 1992. Today we are talking about but this man came with this philosophy in 1992. The district magistrate objected. He moved the High Court. The High Court ruled in his favor. The government of India went in appeal to the Supreme Court. They gave a stay, but he still flew the flag. Then in 2004, the Supreme Court said, this is part of Article 19, this fundamental right of freedom of speech and expression. There's nothing wrong. So what Mr. Jindal thought in 1992 is what our Honorable Prime Minister and every citizen of India is talking about today. And I congratulate Mr. Jindal on his spirit of patriotism. I have been a product of England. I value England's education. But to be a proud Indian, to hold an Indian passport is another proud feature I hold out to myself. The second feature which appealed to me, Mr. Jindal, is is his philanthropy. Mr. Jindal, in his philanthropic spirit, came out very quietly in the pandemic. He is a steel magnet. He prevailed over the steel industry to stop production when the pandemic came and divert all supplies of liquid oxygen to hospitals. Every chief minister in the country applauded him for that. And let us give him a big hand for this silent, smooth working which he did. All the money which comes from steel goes into education. But Mr. Jindal has developed very nice and very good admirable qualities. For a lot of you who don't know, he's an expert in polo. He loves horses. He loves shooting. And most of it, Mr. Jindal has been a member of parliament in 2004 from the SAR, defeating the most popular candidate today, Mr. Chakhala. And as a member of parliament, he was not silent. He chaired a number of committees, he involved so many laws, and he created so many things. So as I say, Mr. Jindal starts from patriotism. He still goes to philanthropy, he goes to politics, he goes to polo. And then he's also an expert in shooting. Shooting guns, not shooting films. And let us look at his background. He is the youngest of eight siblings. And with the blessings of his mother, he has excelled in the family. From a struggling steel plant, he converted into an Asian multinational steel industry, which is growing in shares and profits. And he has he uses waste to make captive power and he uses, he defeat, he finds solutions out of the box, defeats policies and still goes into profits. And where do these profits go? These profits go to Superman. I fondly call Mr. Rajkumar Superman because Mr. Jin, Mr. Rajkumar is perpetually flying to a different country and preparing a report. I marvel at his energy. But now I know who supplies the kryptonite? Mr. Jindal. And who uses the kryptonite? Mr. Rajkumar. Who gains? All of you. Because your children, because we get quality education. Oxford, Harvard, Cambridge, Yale, or any other world class institution is in the middle of nowhere in Jindal Global University in Sonipat. 
I have seen it grow in six years. From 3,000 students, there are now 12,000 students with 12 schools. I think I keep telling Professor Rajkumar, all you need is a Jinder terminal at P3, <laughs> which will give you a shuttle whereby you land and you go straight to Jinder. Because the road is so bad, because when everybody goes, he thinks it is an anti climax. But that about quality education, learning, teaching. I am a proof of the pudding we eat. My son trained in Jindal for six years. Oxford, Cambridge, Harvard, Tufts, Washington, DC. He is today in the International Law Commission interning. He has done a course <coughs> in at The Hague and he's returning tonight. And I was directed by him that I have to attend. After finishing court, I straight came to Delhi because I cannot disappoint Professor Rajkumar. But I must acknowledge the contribution of your mother. Your mother who stands out and Mrs. Abhay Oswal. I worked in the chambers of Sir Abdulip Singh and Oswal Agrofurin was a popular client in 1986-88 with litigation. Because what he, Mr. Oswal started was out of the world. So I acknowledge Mr. Shalu Jindal as a Kuchibudi dancer, a person who believes that things should reach out to people, who believes that people who live in glass houses should travel out to society. And philanthropy in this family, I think, is the biggest asset they have given to this nation. With no offense meant, industrious accumulate wealth. The Jindal family distributes the wealth. They put it into causes for the betterment of society. And I think Mr. Naveen Jindal's example of supplying oxygen very silently to lakhs of people by shutting down steel plants is something which stands out in life and it, it is something admirable. Being the youngest of these siblings in the Jindal family, I think he has not only lived to the image and expectations of his father, O.P. Jindal, whose name the university runs, but I think, sir, your father will be very, very proud of you. And I am grateful to you as a father for having given me this opportunity for my son to go to you, for Professor Rajkumar Superman to train him and to make him something which is beyond what it is. My son is going to be Superman Junior. He writes and speaks what only a Professor Rajkumar can understand. And with these words, I thank everybody and I acknowledge the contribution of Mrs. Jindal, Mrs. Oswal, Mr. Naveen Jindal and of course Mrs. Shalu Jindal for the wonderful efforts they have put in, in putting their money to good use by producing quality education. Thank you very much.